Uh, hi guys, uh, Salam Alaikum. Uh, today we are demonstrating events group event and uh, event flags. <coughs> uh, these events and events groups are very important for task synchronization in uh, RTOS. So basically, event and uh, event flags. These are a single bit value. Uh, this is just uh, used for uh, task synchronization. Just a single bit uh, processing. But in events group, uh, we are able to uh, process more than uh, one event. Okay, and maximum there we are able to process uh, 24, 24 basically events. So this we there is bit bit combination we can consider and uh, the data byte we can use here 32 bit integer value or uh, signed or unsigned basically. So out of that uh, for uh, demonstration purpose. Uh, what I am doing here, uh, bit number 0 and bit number 1, I am considering for task 1 and task 2. So I have given the name good task 1 and good task 2 basically. And I have created uh, 3 tasks here, task 1, task 2 and uh, task monitor basically. Uh, this task is just a setting uh, event okay, in a group that I am working properly. That's it this is also same it is setting the that particular bit into that uh, group that i am working properly if anyone from this task 1 or task 2 it is not working properly so it is not going to set their values okay then this task monitor the task uh, check it uh, uh, it is checking continuously whether it is working properly or not and depending upon the value of 0 or 1 from their boot, uh, bit position that in there that gives you result of uh, system failure something okay so quickly we can check it out uh, what is written inside this uh, task 1 task 2 and how to create a group basically so for creating and using this uh, events we have to add a particular file uh, where the declaration of these functions are used so event group files I have added into the main.h file. Okay, this one. We have to first uh, create group by calling this function event group create. Okay, so particular group will be uh, declared and it's created and uh, next uh, we have to create two tasks of having same priorities okay and task monitor having a higher priority than these two tasks in the task 2 what i am said what i am doing here every one second i am setting uh, this good task bit one here is a good task one id and good task two id is here this is just a bit position of uh, out uh, from that uh, 24 this is bit position 1 and the value i have set it to the 1 this is bit position 2 and the value is 10 so i have directly given as a 2 so and this is monitor all task id is 3 that is i am checking whether both the values are set then only my system is working properly okay these are three values i have kept it aside for checking checks per checking purpose Okay, now I'll check it. Uh, what is written inside the good task two? So uh, what I'm doing here? Every second, I'm changing. Uh, I'm incrementing one counter. Counter uh, from one to six, I'm incrementing. Upon the seven, I'm just changing, uh, resetting the counter. So first uh, values like uh, from three, four, five, six, I'm not setting the good task id okay so what happens is at uh, monitoring uh, the task monitoring task will be fail here at that point when my counter is three four five six so at that time system failure will occur okay else otherwise the task is performing well because task here every one second i am setting here Every one second, others are setting uh, here properly. Only this portion, this range, 
that task 2 is not setting at that time i am just uh, making uh, failure of the system okay so in that uh, this is managed so this is third function that i have to use it second function in uh, x event group wait bits so in, this one is waiting until the timeout so i have given the timeout of 2 seconds in that 2 seconds whatever whatever i am monitoring the bits that is uh, i am monitoring both the task bits like uh, bit position 1 and bit position 2 and whether two bits are three that is it is successfully executed okay and if it is anyone is uh, zero from the two bits that means it fails and uh, the next bit is for after exiting this function i have to clear the status of the bits likewise so this this is uh, this is the syntax of that function basically you can see it here as well and uh, after two seconds i'm just getting the result of that x group events and you can see is the task id i'm getting from the result if it is okay that means both the tasks are working properly then both the tasks will set their logical bit position values to the one and i will print the value uh, the string system working properly here otherwise i will print here system is not working properly okay okay uh, got it here so this is simple uh, events i am just uh, demonstrating here i will just check it out whether it is giving or not i just dump this code here run this code <clears throat> So output is, uh, we can just uh, think of the output, every 2 second, okay, after completion of the 2 second, the result will be appeared. And if you remember our task 1, okay, our task 1, every second it is a setting. That means there is no problem in task 1 of failure. Only task 2 having a chances of failure and that uh, range 3 to 6 okay so let's check it out quickly what is the result and so i will tell you why it is like this okay so uh, that range is 3 4 5 6 out of four values two values printing system is not working properly first initial two seconds is for waiting purpose whether it is able to set it or not that purpose uh, it is uh, it is printing only twice okay so that's it uh, for events group we have demonstrated two events of uh, two tasks and we are comparing and checking with the wait event group wait uh, event group event group wait bits okay Okay, thank you.